Five ways to rep your prospects with rapport, right? Five ways, well, there's 10. Five ways to rep your prospects with rapport. Now, there's a lot more than five ways, I know that, <clears throat> but we'll just look at five today. Why am I talking about this? Well, let me share this with you. Rapport, if you build rapport, you're more likely to get engagement. Let's put it another way, okay? No rapport means no engagement. No engagement means no relationship being built. No relationship being built with your prospect, right? No relationship being built means no interest. And no interest by your prospect means no sale. So it all starts with rapport. And it makes common sense to get off on the right track. <clears throat> and so I want to share with you five things that put that rapport in place. Because without it, you're dead in the water. That's really what it's all about, okay? My name is Peter Beckham, the Village Marketer. And as always, talking to you from our little Thai village way up near the Cambodian border. Five ways to build rapport. The first one, and it sounds pretty darn logical, right? In common sense, but I have to tell you. Number one, stop pitching them, right? That's what you've got to do. So many people focus on themselves, focus on their product and their offer and their features and their benefits because they've been sold by it. Especially in network marketing, you love the product, right? You really love the product. It does wonders for you. So you think you've got to tell everybody else. And you can't understand when they don't show any interest, okay? They don't show any interest because you haven't built any rapport. You can't build rapport by talking about product features and benefits. I mean, that's never going to happen. It doesn't matter how good the product is. It doesn't matter how much you like it, okay? You've got to go through the process. Build rapport, build engagement, build relationship, okay? That's what it's all about. And by the way, the other thing is this, if you build uh, relationships and you build rapport, then when it comes to time to, for you to present a solution, they're going to be much more interested in listening to it, okay? Because otherwise, you're going to present a solution to somebody and you don't even know what their problem is, but you think it's important, okay? Number two, research everything you can about your prospect. Now, the more you know about your prospect, the more they're going to feel that here is a, well, a sense of rapport with you, right? So do your research, really do your research. Look at, I mean, when you go to visit with a potential customer, make sure you've checked out their social media. Maybe look at their last lot of tweets, look at their Facebook profile. What are they saying in their profile? Look at LinkedIn, whatever it is. I mean, there's stacks of availability now for you to check out your potential client and show interest in them, because that's what it's all about, right? But if you do this homework, then they're immediately gonna feel a positive attitude to you. They're immediately gonna think, wow, this person is interested in me, okay? So you start in the rapport building process, there you go. Number three, be genuinely interested in them and learn about their challenges. And well, I've said this before, but you can't leave it out, okay? When people feel that you're interested in, okay, in, they are prepared to listen to you, okay? So focus on them, but don't focus on them trying to sell them, focus on trying to help them, okay? You don't have to be enthusiastic. You don't have to be have high energy, for example. Just focus on them. Make them the center of your conversation. Make them know and feel that you are really interested in finding out about them not trying to sell them something, but finding out what their particular problem is. Very important. If they can sense that and not sense you trying to sell them something, because in this day and age, right, people are waiting for the pitch. Well, don't have the pitch, okay? This is a way to differentiate yourself altogether, right? Don't have the pitch at all. Simply be genuinely interested in, and when you build a relationship, you get more engagement, as I said before, right? And as they engage, they open up to you. When they open up to you, right, then you've got a chance to discover more about them and what's important to them and why it's important. All this stuff built on rapport. If you don't do that, then you're going to try and present a solution to someone who's not interested. What's the point? That's why people go out of business, right? Hey, Glenda Kroll. Oh, I think I mentioned you before. <laughs> Did you? Sorry. Okay, number four, mirror them. When a prospect says something important, right, then take the last maybe sentence they said, 
okay, and reprint it back to them. This sounds pretty simple, doesn't it, right? But it's important, and I, I'm not everything they say, but something that's really important, okay? I want you to remember what it is, write it down, by the way. You should be, you should be writing down what they're sharing with you, and then repeat it back in their words, what they just said to you. What does this do? Two things, right? I mean, we're talking about rapport, right? First of all, it shows that you were listening in the first place, right? Okay. Secondly, it shows that you actually understood what they were trying to share with you. Both of those things, understanding and listening, are a key part of rapport building, as you know, right? There you go. Number five, the last one. Only present a solution to their challenges, to their problems, their pain points or their desires, whatever it is. I mean, your product may have a multiplicity of options. I mean, I'll give you an example, okay? And I'm not trying to promote this at all because I'm not involved with it. But CBD oils, for example, have a whole series of benefits to people. I mean, maybe 20 of them, right? But if you were involved in that particular, this is just an example, by the way, but if, you just, if you're involved with that, then you should only be sharing the features and benefits of your product, your CBD, oil, or CBD oils, for example, that pertain and relate to the challenges and problems of your client. If you go overboard and you start saying, and by the way, it'll do this for you, and this, and this, and this, and this, you know what, you're gonna lose. They're gonna just get confused and think, ah, oh, this is too hard, boom, let it go, right? So just focus, focus on the challenge they have and share that part of your product as a solution that relates to that particular challenge only. That's my point to you, all right? There you are, there's five for today. I hope you got some value out of that. And by the way, if there's any of this rapport building, because it is absolutely critical, really critical. If any of this rapport building sort of falls flat with you because you don't know what to do, okay, reach out and message me. Because if you don't get this right, then it doesn't matter what business you're in, you're not going to make it, right? You really need to be able to build rapport. And that's not just being nice, okay? It's actually trying to show real interest and have the right questions in place. And it's not as easy as I mentioned. I just shared five ways with you. I told you what they were. I didn't tell you how to do it, right? Because <laughs> I didn't want to go on for hours. But if you need some help in that, reach out to me, send me a message. Okay, until next time, all the very best from Thailand. Bye for now.